Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Amamans, on the Amamansia Peninsula. We're just inside the walls, you can see, just inside the walls here, and behind us, the City Watch appear to have found their way into the walls in some serious numbers. How is it that you can have, like, none, and then all of a sudden, you get a load? I'm just going to spin myself around. They're all over the place now, these people. Aren't you, boys? You're properly covering the place, which is good because if we get any zombies that spawn in any dark corners, these guys are properly finishing them off. And um, they're also, they're what, at least there was earlier, they're also on the docks as well. Are there any still on the docks? Let's just have a look through because these docks got, these docks could do with a bit more jazz actually, couldn't they? I hadn't thought about that. They need a little bit more hustle bustle business, but there were some on the docks earlier as well. They, I reckon they've wandered into the city now, but they were wandering around. Look, just looking for people to bash. Which uh, there's one, there's one. This is the brute squad right here. They like looking out, coming, come and have a go. Come on, pirates, we'll do you. Which is quite funny. But what we've got, I've just wanted to show you just what I've done because I've done a little bit more in trying to jazz this place up because I found these flat bits. I'm not such a big keen fan of these flat bits that we've got. Also, more villagers appear to have just wandered around. We've got. A fisherman coming to say hello to his brother, who's also a farmer. Trouble is, when they jump down, they naff up these little bits here. But, you know, these things come to try us and all that. But it's going dark already. So, I'm just coming along this way. We've got more brute squad over there. Coming along this way. Because I've done jazzing the other side of the pool. Not this side of the pool. You can see. Not, what are you doing here? You should be working. This Not this side of the pool. That's all kind of still a bit bland. But here... From here onwards, I've started to do it all up, look. You can see. And you see, look, we've got, um, like, fields and bushes. How have you got two of those on the roof? Have they spawned in? I didn't think we had enough beds for any more to spawn in, actually. That's bizarre. They're, they've been very careful. They're making sure that the roof doesn't get done. Oh, that one's just jumped off. There must be an easy way to get on off the roof. I've not even realised. Maybe I've bushed it up too much. But they're all over the place. But it's all really nice and kind of covered up. Um, I quite like what we've got so far around here now. I can't see where to get up on that roof from here. I couldn't do that, could I? Hang on, should we ready? Nope, I can't do it. So how does, a, how does an iron golem? He's heavier than me. Right, but we've got it all the way along. And it's really nice. So I now I'm trying to think, what is it I'm going to do next in this episode? I've started the episode with actually no plan. Which isn't anything new, to be fair. Not having a plan isn't something that I'm unfamiliar with. But I certainly want to do something just to improve. I don't want to do more outside today. Outside maybe in the next episode to do something jazzy. This is episode 99. So I want to do something... You know, quite interesting for episode 99 and then do something whoop de do for episode 100. And I'm considering episode 100 could be on the other hill. So we've got that massive old kind of wizardy tower on that hill. Maybe a tower of some description on the other hill for episode 100. But that's next time, not this time. So what do we think we should do? I wonder if we might need to do something with this building here. It is a little bit, it is a little bit, just a little bit out of, out of sorts with the rest of it. It's just a little bit too flat and needs a bit of umphing. I might do that. I'm going to go, and, yeah, I'm going to do that. I've decided. I'm going to sort out this building, make it a little bit more in keeping with the surroundings. But I'm going to go and have a kip first because it's night time and I don't want anything to eat my face. And the sun is coming up just past, like, I love it when it goes past like that. You just got half the sun coming over the lighthouse, God rays. Blooming lovely. It's just creeping over the land. I'm liking it very much. But we're going to come on top of this fella. Now, I'm thinking I'm not going to worry about the body of it just at the moment. But what I am going to worry about is... Do I, have I just done that underneath? Oh, no, I've not. I've done it all right. I've done it all right. Perfect. There we go. So I'm just going to come up onto the roof. Now, the thing is about this roof is whilst this outer edge is not a spawnable area, this is, that's not, that is... And that's not, and that is. Now, this doesn't spawn. But if you come out here at night time, it is dark enough for things to spawn. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to create a platform on here. And then in the middle, we're just going to, like, effectively, we're going to build it up. We're going to build it up and we're going to have a higher level. 
I know in my head what I'm talking about. Just trust me on this one, all right? So what we're going to do is I need to get some... I've got a couple of doobie-doos here. Right, so what I've got... If I pop down the shulkers there and there... So I've got that stuff's in there. That stuff's in there. I'm going to probably need more of them, aren't I? Uh, it's all good. It's all good. I know what I'm doing. So this is this is a level that's spawnable. So this is going to be the edge of our platform, but not that bit and not that bit. And I might fill this bit out. In fact, I will fill this bit out. We're going to make it a little bit squarer. And I might fancy it up afterwards. And I think, is this oak or is it spruce? I know it's Bruce. It's all right. It's all good. It's all good. I'm just going to pop that there like that. And there like that. What I am, however, going to do is get that because I need to make myself a crafting table because I've not got one. Perfect. And I can pop a crafting table down here as well. And that will allow me to make... Oh, that was appalling. Come on, that'll allow me to make more slabs because I'm going to need a lot more slabs than I've got there. So that's like that. That means this comes out like this. That becomes the edge of the platform. And if that comes all the way around, I don't want to go over that. But the middle bit is going to be here. I'm, I'm trying to do this in my head. And... So if that goes out that way, this is going to look appalling to start with, people. So don't judge me. So that's going to go there. No, not there. Like that. That goes there, 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 and there. That gives us... That makes that a square. This is more or less straight over here, isn't it? That needs to come there like that. And I'll just add some extra like that and then on this side this was an appalling design what was i thinking this is a awful that goes like that that comes out like that that goes there that goes there right so what we're going to do is we're going to create this into a fully fledged platform in fact i'm going to come around all the way one and i'm going to run out of these come all the way so this is going to be the edge this is going to do the same thing. That's got to go like that. That's there, that's there. That's appalling, that's appalling. Then we're going to come around. This is... I'm going to end up flattening this whole thing out, aren't I? Because I've got to have it all the way around like this. Like that. I'm going to use up so many of these. There, there. No, not there. There. Oh, my goodness. Right, so that's going to come around like that. That's going to be there. That's going to be there. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work out, people. This might not actually work out particularly well. Let's keep going. And I'm just going to flatten this all out. Once I've got this roof the shape that I want it, I'm going to be back. I am utterly not entirely certain that I'm happy with this, to be honest, but the shape is just awful. What was I thinking? Which is why we've got to do something with it. So I'm just going to trim this all around with just a single layer of um, the spruce wood, I think, all the way around this edge. And that is going to completely... I'm going to get rid of that. That's going to completely encapsulate the glass but in a square and I want it to be a square and I'll show you for why in a minute because I want to effectively create an inside on the top of this outside and that way I can start to actually build this into a structure that well it, it I didn't really put any focus into this so I wasn't really thinking about whether or not this was good or in keeping or fitting or anything like that and now I'm looking at it I'm thinking this is not right. It it needs to change big style. And unfortunately, big style is the only way I can have this. There's so much storage in there. So much storage in there that in reality, it can't be any smaller. I just wish I'd have made it a better shape because it's just appalling. Right, and then I'm going to get some carpet. I'm going to carpet 
all of this inside here because this is now inside this is going to be the inside of not it's not going to be a tower but a structure so as this has got a little bit more height and from underneath you'll still see all obviously the glowstone and the glass and it'll be the underside of the carpet and it'll actually look quite nice because it will reflect a little bit the red carpet that we've got in there get rid of that um, and also the light from the glowstone will shine up through I'm gonna have to get loads more carpet on it um, will shine up through uh, the carpet so the inside will be lit so it sort of acts as a bit of a, a double benefit there with the carpet and it being red carpet it just looks quite cool so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna cover up all of this with the carpet and I'm gonna build up the structure just a little bit more and once I've done that, I'm going to start running out of ideas as to what it's actually going to look like. And I'll probably come back to you with some musings. Last stack of carpet. I've got loads, but I thought three stacks would be enough. It's not even close, is it? Look here. It's not even close. Right, so we've got a structure of sorts. This is how the roof is. And if I just come along on the outside, I've sort of got extra over. You can't really see, can you? You can't really see. Can you see? No, you can't see it. But under that, we've got extra overhang and extra support. Now, this looks, I'm trying to find a word that suits what this looks like. And the only word I can think of is awful at the moment. It just looks appalling. So I'm going to try and jazz this up. Um, but first off, I'm going to start at the top. I'm just going to pop these around the feet. I can't put it on that one. Uh, I can't even put it on that one. That'll do. Um, there it's already there uh, oh now I'm confused because I think we've got differential heights now oh that won't do I'm gonna have to fix all this again it's not gonna work that needs to go there like that then that needs to come across oh that needs to come across here like this otherwise it's it's not going to meet properly I can't have that going like that I just won't work I won't work for me at all that needs to go there like that which means probably this thing oh uh, you know what I'm saying I'm not gonna worry about it at the minute we're gonna come along and start to put on a bit of a trim around the top and start to think how we're gonna roof this off because I think the roof is going to replicate this roof a little bit it's a bit you could almost say it's Japanesey, but not with wood off of wood. But I'm just going to come back down here, ouch, um, and get some steps because I do have some steps. This is all very, very sprucey right now, and we're not going to have it completely sprucey all the way up. It's I've got to do something with it. The challenge is that I don't actually know what it is I'm going to do yet. Have you ever been? Have you ever seen me in that situation before? The answer is yes, dear viewer. You see it on a fairly regular basis. So I'm going to come and I want the, the step to be out like that. So overhung all the way around in literally a circle that goes all the way around. And this might not work. I'm not out. I know what won't work is my balance. But this might not actually work. It might look appalling. And if it looks appalling, then we'll rethink what we're doing. So if I come out there, pop that on the edge there, that comes there. Right, so I just need to just wrap it around a little bit. And before I go too much further, I just want to see what that looks like. Uh, plenty of hearts, don't matter. Right. Okay, so I need to look at it from down there. Uh, ouch. So now I need to take those out because I need to re-establish where my thing up is going to be. I've got more now. I thought, I thought for a minute I only had five scaffolds. It's like, what's going on? Right, so that goes up like that. Just check that we're all good. We're all good. Okay, brilliant. So if I now come back here and have a look at where that roof is. Right, so how does that roof... That roof might be all right, actually. It might be okay. So where's my steps again? Right, so let's just pop uh, a roof all the way around. And once we've done that, we'll start to just put a fairly gradual roof. Because it's a rectangle, and it's a perfect rectangle, it'll actually be a lot easier to get the roof on 
because it, it well the irregular shape kills me but I think with this one we could probably do it okay it might be that we have to replace no I'm not going to replace I was just going to say we might have to replace the steps because it's too much of a okay, there, there we go it's too much of a, a slope but I think it might be okay have I got any where's my so if I then was going to do this all the way around like this I'm going to jump off again and have another look again in a minute and come around this way so he oh not there but that doesn't matter I'm not going to worry about that too much either I've got so much of this wood it's absolutely crazy so if I do that and then come down and then come down this way and come back up here and take a good look. Come on, jump, Avo. Jump, 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 jump. There we go. You know what? I think that'd be all right. I don't want a Gable lens on this. It doesn't work with Gable lens. So I'm just going to finish this roof off a little bit and see what we end up with. get some upside down steps it just adds a little bit of I don't know just a bit of shape makes it looks not quite so up and down fixed all the feet and now I want to do some texturing I'm going to use dark oak because I think it needs to be dark oak to actually physically stand out from the spruce couldn't do it in oak because oak would look lighter so I need it to look darker so what we're going to do is we're going to I put that like that and then on the same level on the other side put it like that and then that would be there, that would be there, there, and there. I'm going to create that, and then I need to get, where's my scaffold gone? Get the scaffolding out. Pop that there. And just come up. And then I need to, where's my things gone? So how am I going to do this then? Right, so I know what I'm going to do. Let's just get rid of that. I'm going to need to do this in stage. Right, so if I pop that like that, that, that like that, come up and there we go. And now we've got the stage. Right, so that. goes there that goes there that's like that didn't mean to fall off that that was utterly deliberate just to demonstrate that it wasn't going to hurt me that goes there so I've somehow got to get that in there we go like that like that like that and then this upside down like that if I then take a little goosey at that that gives me the archway that I'm trying to achieve. Um, and then on the inside, I'll put that there. And sort of trying to make it up as I go along. Then that like that. That like that. 
and then come up and that will go there oh, deliberately did it deliberately absolutely didn't 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 do that accidentally at all and that there like that and if we come down that makes for a nice shape then if I just chop that fella out chop that fella out collect all my doodads and that might be all right you know if I then pop uh, except I can't because that's a half hmm have I got I've got plenty of them so if I then did that there and that there that would then allow me to do that but would that look I don't know if that would look all right or not let's just shove another one of those there and there actually actually any a quite late that did I bring any buttons I did bring some buttons put those in like that so then if I get the buttons I go how many is this this is one two three four if I put them there and there lanterns we've got lanterns just yes, I have lanterns and I put the lantern in there that might just work you know I'm gonna come along and see if I can't see that from a distance yep that's gonna work I have done a little bit more work on it I've gone around all the way with that pattern obviously not all the gaps are exactly the same so we've had to change the pattern up ever so slightly it looks really good in the night time and actually I think just before this night came along it was starting to look really good in the daytime I've bushed it up a bit around the top partly to stop mobs from spawning and partly just to give it a little bit of color to break up all of that wood that is a lot of wood and it need a bit of break up you can see however the roof is very very spawnable so I'm gonna have to think of some way of making it not spawnable without well frankly without making it look like I've just lobbed a load of torches on it but because at the moment these uh, lanterns all around the roof here that's temporary they are just literally to stop people coming on and eating my face and me coming around the corner and getting ever so upset about it um I think the day is about to come. look at the way the god rays are coming through those windows that's awesome I've not seen that before um I think it's okay I'm happy with it we do however have a bit of a job to do because at the moment the only way to get up it is to go up the scaffold and that's not really a way you would get up into a nice big building like this so what I thought I would do and I sort of thought it as I was wandering around is I thought I would build the entrance over here if I come this way and come up onto this bit here I thought I would build an entrance here so you can see I've already put the door in come up here I've already put the big door in but what I want to do is I want to have kind of the stairway going up here probably a kind of up and then back again stairway uh, that will then take some of the work out of decorating this side because that's just one long big dull wall isn't it and it'll just make it look a little bit more official I'm wondering whether or not this might be like a council offices come meeting room type thing I think it works quite well as a big central building so I keep my uh, inventory on the underfloor and on the top floor the villagers can come and have their their town meetings not that they ever will because they're too lazy frankly but they have absolutely no idea how to plan anything so why would they have a town meeting but I think that might be actually a really nice use for it so I'll put a blooming great big table in the middle it also means that I don't have to do too much designing inside because I'm rubbish at inside designing so I think what we're going to do now is I'm going to get my scaffold and I think we're going to just I might not need the scaffold to be honest what if what if we just start to build this up here I'm going to use dark oak again how many steps have I got dark? I've got stacks it's fine if I were to start putting it say so the overhang is there so it's one one two three then four five six so if I was to start doing it there and that goes up halfway I've got dark oak wood as well I do although I'm gonna no I'm not gonna waste my dark oak. I've got way more cobble than I've got dark wood so if I just build the structure out of some cobble that's gonna come up there that's gonna come up like that 
how high do we want this to go? Probably one more before we put a turn on it. So it goes there, 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 there. Yep, so if I then put the turn here and I replace, I'm just planning. This is a planning block. Don't get excited. This is just off of planning. And then this comes, no, not there. This comes this way. Like that. So you'd come up what will be stairs this way. So I'll put that there, that there, that there. That there, that there, that there, and that there. This then becomes the platform, and then the steps start again there, there, there. I'll dig this bit out. So you see where I'm going with it, right? Time for a little bit of Hall of Heroes and Make Space. I decided to come wandering across the bridge. I've not done the bridge in ages. It's quite nice just to walk across the bridge sometimes. Little Georgie! Hello, little Georgie. You're not going to X for me today, Georgie. Have you not? You should feel ashamed of yourself. I feel so sad that you're still stuck there. You've been stuck there for months. And I've not really fed you. Have I got any seeds? No, I've not got any seeds. So don't get excited. I can't do anything with you. Never mind. It's time to look at the Hall of Heroes. We've got a few people to add to the Hall of Heroes. If you don't want to have a look at this, there is a timestamp in the description below. But my question to you is, why? It's just a little short. Just take a look at these people that are awesome. It's just, it's just all I'm asking you to take a look at these people that are awesome. We're going into the cobble area first. And if you remember, we filled this up last time with Comic being the last person. So I duped it on this side. It theoretically should be pretty much the same. So I dug a hole out here and I duped it on this side. And we've got a few people to say hello to. So first off, Adam Brooks. Adam, I hope this fits you well, this one. It's, it's actually designed specifically for you. I took your, your measurements whilst you were sleeping. Don't feel weirded out by that. But Adam, really great to have you as a Cobble patron. Thank you so, so much for joining the ranks. It is great to see you in there. And I'm looking forward to being able to see you on Avatopia. Luke Skylander, brilliant to be able to stick you atop a Cobble block here, Luke. It is really nice to have you amongst the Cobble patron. I'm really happy to stick a sign and a statue up for you. Looking forward to seeing you in Avatopia. Also, and Tepic. Is it Tepic or Tepic? How do you want it? Tepic or Tepic? In the comments below, let me know and put Tepic, but do it phonetically like a CK or Tepic with a CH. And that way I'll know for the future. It'd be very important for me to know that. Yes, indeed. Again, took your measurements whilst you were asleep. I may have drugged you, but you know we don't want to talk about that. But thank you so much for joining the Cobblestone Ranks. It's really great to have you a patron. And I'm very, very grateful for your support. Thank you so much. Let's go up and around, oh, this way. Let's go up and around into the redstone rooms now. Down here, it's turned into a right old labyrinthine place, this fella. And we've got another redstone friend that we want to say hello to, and that is Luke. Luke Parsons, thank you so much. Looking fab atop a red block there, my mate Luke. You're going to have a very sore left shoulder. I'm sorry, Toddzilla. I, I heard he, he fell asleep the other day and really, really pulled out Dead Boy NYC's uh, shoulder out of his socket. So I hope you don't have that problem. But I heard it was very strong anyway. So really grateful for your Redstone patronage. It is super, super awesome for you to have done that. And I'm very grateful for the support. You'll never know just how much. Really, really looking forward to seeing you on Avatopia. It'll be great to see you. If you would like to get involved and get yourself a statue and all of the other benefits that are being a patron, then you are more than welcome to go to avamance.com. That is avamance.com, where all the benefits of patronage are listed. And there are more coming literally in the next couple of months. I'm really, really excited. There's stuff happening in the next couple of months, which is going to be amazing. And just seriously, oh, look, you did an egg for me, Georgie. You're totally not a boy. And... It's going to be really fab. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm very excited. Oh, when did I look that there? Was that last time? I'll have that out. Amazing. Right, I'm going to, I'm just going to lob your egg. George, don't look. There you go. I know it was your baby, but what can I tell you? So we're going to come around here and I'm just going to have a little bit of food. Okay, let's get my sign. And this is episode 99. Very exciting. Very nearly episode 100. Nothing in here that it shouldn't be able to eat my face in it. It should all be good. Todd was the last person. So today we're going to say hello to someone that I had to check 
my list to check that I'd not actually already put this person into the make space. When I realized I hadn't, I was actually genuinely quite embarrassed. So for episode 99, this chap is always in the comments and it is an absolute pleasure to be able to add you to the make space. David Ratliff, David, you are so overdue being in this make space. I'm so sorry, you should have been in there ages ago, but it's a pleasure to add you, just nothing coming. Nothing coming, I thought I heard something. No, it is a real pleasure to have you in the mate space. Thank you so much for the support for what feels like ages and ages and ages. You're always in the comments and it's brilliant to have you in here. You are a top. Now, 99, episode 99 of this very, very exclusive club, David, and I'm really happy that you've joined us. Right, I've got to try and manage to come out here and I'm going to, shall I run back or shall I fly back? I might run back again, you know. I might run back because I don't want to waste my rockets. Uh, not that I haven't got a bazillion of them, but I'm going to run back because uh, I might just shoot that. There's a mate of George's there as well. Let's just have you. You need to die because I don't want you taking. There you go. You're safe now. You're safe. Chicken, you're safe. It's all good. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> right, let's come back over and I want to see if we can't get this fella finished. I'm really quite interested in getting this one done, so it'll be good to get it done. I'm actually quite pleased with the way this has turned out. You know, this is, looks all right. I was very worried. I'm not going to lie to you. I was very worried part way through this that this was going to be an absolute disaster because I had zero plan of what I wanted to do with it. But if you can remember what it looked like before, it was just that single flat roof with the glowstone and the glass on the top of it. It just didn't look like it belonged in this place. I've now created, it's a bit of a town hall. So we've got Decent detailing all over that top level. This bottom level is still my um, inventory uh, sorting system. That's not going to change. That's for me. I can store all my stuffs in it. But if I come around the outside, you can see we've got a little bit of storage area under each corner that we didn't have before. I'll come up here. This is all very bland here still. Then we've got you know nice detailing going on all over that. If I come up here, we can see... The detailing goes around. We've got green on top to break up the grass. And then here, we come down here. And hello, council member. How are you? Nice to see you. And coming up and around here, we can enter the council chamber by coming up the stairs and coming up back up and around the stairs. And this is the council chamber. You can see. You can, if you wish, go and have a bit of a wander around on the roof. If that is, you know, if you're a roof wanderer, feel free to come and wander the roof. I don't mind. It's up to you, isn't it? Uh, but Inside, we've got a very simple council chamber. This is all very grand. And we close the door so nothing comes into it. Does. But we can see through into the um, sorting system, my inventory system there, only because of the doors. I had to remove the carpet. You know, you can't have everything. But there are chairs there. So representatives from all of the professions, and some professions more than one. There's probably lots of fishermen because there's a 5,000 of them. And... We've just put paintings all around, a bit of a shelf using some trapdoors. You can see they're just trapdoors and a kind of a chandelier type effect coming from the ceiling. This is just logs and uh, just again, trapdoors, nothing more than that. But I think it works out quite nicely. I'm quite happy with it. It is definitely now in keeping with uh, the rest of the landscape, which was what I was really worried about. So I'm super duper happy. Another job sorted, another element of that village now looking awesome. I'm just significantly better than the flatness of that previous building. I'm very, very happy. What about you, councillor? What do you think? Is that worthwhile? Was it a good one? Do you think it was, is that somewhere you're going to be having your meetings from now on? It's all I need to know. All right, ignore me then. Go read a book. What can I tell you? If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club. I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.